Hi, I thought it would make more sense to video this to explain it. So this is the space that we have currently to store stuff. What we need to do is this whole thing here needs to be removed. You can take all the balls, leave them in. It's a little basketball court and it can be positioned. Come here, go through, and then there's a gate back here. And then what you can do is position it over here near this but I'd like it to be so when I look out this window I don't see it or better yet if you guys like it and want it it is all yours all you have to do is take it the little bouncy balls and stuff though the exercise balls will keep but that'll get it out of the way then um, Nola is maybe gonna need to shift a few of her little things just further to the wall we've got this Hoya lift thing and then she's got a few personal things just to give us more space Next, we're gonna have the bed and two chairs that are gonna need to go in this space. And I'm thinking based on the measurement of the bed, it might be easier to possibly do the bed lengthwise this way. So head, toe, or toe, or head there and toe here versus it going long ways. This, like this thing is long ways. I think the bed will take up too much space. There's enough clearance if we do it this direction. Okay, so then next, if we move into the house, I'll go, so there is this chair here, which is going to need to be moved and put back into my father's room. So if we then go in this direction, what we do is this chair, which is a medical chair, is gonna need to go in the garage and then that leather chair that you just saw in the other room can be positioned here and then there's another one of these leather chairs here which can also be positioned right here but what we'll do is we will take the bed because see it's not that long and then put that bed in the garage along with this chair and we have another exact chair like this in the living room that will also go in the garage and the way I'm thinking that that needs to be positioned just to show you where that chair is so you come through here and this is the other medical chair and check for plugs and all of that because there's plugs and different things with these things and like little motors so that will then will go back into the garage and I will discuss what we're going to do with this sofa in a second We'll take that, go back in the garage, now realizing that we have the bed and those two chairs for space optimization purposes. Again, this is all gone. Any of the little stuff is pushed back. We'll have the bed go, go because we'll have more stuff to store in the garage. Um, we'll have the bed go long ways this way. Then we can have one chair and then another chair in front of it. So pretty much the length of the bed and then one chair by say the head of the bed and one chair by the foot of the bed. So the two chairs will line up next to the bed lining up. And then that will then create additional space for us to store other boxes and cord that we're gonna need to later. Then this, um, so right now we have this new like TV configuration right now this space is all very tight obviously that's going to go away it will open up the space but even where this sofa is positioned for clearance to get through this door it's still relatively tight so what i would like to do but i must be present for this because part of it's visual but i'm just giving you a heads up so now that this will be gone okay that will then two things number one this is on stilts we need to remove the little stilts in theory, and I'll give you better direction when I'm here, I'm just giving you an overview. This sofa will move over, best guess, one and a half, one, one to two feet depending. I wanna make sure there's enough visual clearance here. Also, since there's not a lot of walking space between the sofa and that door, I'm gonna take this sofa and probably move it forward one and a half to two, two and a half feet as well. So this sofa is gonna kind of move forward and over a bit along with that little thing and then possibly depending on how this ends up looking because right now this little sofa is like so close to this it just doesn't feel airy so if this is moved over a little bit 
we might just slightly shift this a little bit. If for some reason that doesn't happen, the world isn't going to end, but just from an aesthetic, even this sofa too is very kind of close to trying to get in this doorway. It just feels very tight and cluttered. So once this sofa is positioned over this way, yeah, naturally this one's going to need to kind of shift over a little bit again, because when you look at trying to come in through this door, it becomes this little tiny narrow space. You walk in and it's like, bam, you don't even go two feet and you, and you hit that. Then next is this little den and Nola, will you please very, very gently maybe remove my stuff. If I have time today, I'll remove it. I want to be present for this, but the way the wall is configured and everything, it's tighter on this side and a lot wider on that side. And actually this lamp, can you take this lamp, put it in the garage? It doesn't even work. We don't even need it. So ultimately when I'm here, I'd like to just have this sofa scooched over a little bit here. The goal is that there's more even space on either side. And that is kind of staying, even though it's ugly, but it is hiding something. Um, so that would be awesome. And then this TV can go into the, um, can go into the garage. This little table here will now be brought back into my father's bedroom of which it will be placed between what will be the two leather reclining chairs. So that leather reclining chair, which will be brought back in here. So this will be gone, but let's pretend this is the leather chair like this one. So these two leather chairs will kind of be positioned here and here. And then this little thing here can just go in the garage and then that pretty glass table can just be set in the middle of what would be the two leather chairs on either side but this can go in the garage so i'm hoping that that is a good enough explanation of things 